एवरीवन माय नेम इज लकी अग्रवाल वी सीन डैम वेबल वेब ऐप बिफोर माय फ्रेंड स्वप्निल हैज शोन यू दिस ऐप ऑन सैटरडे दिस इज अ ग्रेट टूल टू टेस्ट योर स्किल्स ऑफ एथिकल हैकिंग विल चेक एक्सेस अटैक्स ऑन दिस ऐप एज टोल्ड बाय सर बिफोर देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ एक्सेस वन इज एक्सेस रिफ्लेक्टेड एक्सेस विच इज अ नॉन परसिस्टेंट एक्सेस and another is a stored accesses which is a persistent accesses so let's begin with there are two levels of security in dvw as shown a low level of security and a medium level of security also there is a high level of security where mostly none of the attacks work so we'll try our attacks on a low level security and on the medium level security so first let's begin with the low level security we start with uh, accesses reflected access attacks so as you can see there is a simple form which asks what is your name so if i enter my name over here and then i press submit so it will simply show me my name as the response what if i enter some other random characters in this same form field so we can see that this all the characters are re re are given to us in the response without any sanitization so this shows us that we can try this field for cross site scripting attacks so let's insert another html tag for bold a simple bold tag in html so as you can see the html tag has been executed and my name is now being showed in bold so we'll try a script attack on this field a very simple script to just say hello uh, a pop up of hello so as you can see when the script executed when i submit the form it gives me a pop up hello so on a low level of security we have successfully executed a simple attack a simple cross site scripting attack now we'll see the medium level of security let's try the bold tag again on the same field does it work in the medium security also as you can see the bold tag still works so let us try the script tag now so now you see that when i submit this form the script tag no longer works now let us try to find out what has changed from low level security to medium level security let's try another attack first then we'll see how it has changed notice how i have in introduced another script tag within the existing script tag we'll see how this is helpful to us in attacking this form now when i submit this form the attack is successfully executed to understand what is going on on the server side we'll take a look at the source code on both at the low level of security and the medium level of security Let's take a look at the low level source code. So, as you can see in the low level, there is no sanitization on the response. The web page simply the server simply returns the name, web page pick up the http response name and simply 
reproduces it on the web page. No sanitization over here. Let's check the source code at the medium level of security. Now you can see that in medium level of security the script is trying to replace script tags with null. How is this is helpful to us is because we introduced an extra script tag within our existing script tag. So when the browser stripped off the inner script tag the outer script tags combined to form a complete script. So this script tag inside which I had intentionally put is being removed by the server and then we get a complete script which can be executed. This facilitates attack on the medium level of security. Now we will see stored cross site scripting, XSS stored, XSS stored are persistent attacks wherein every time the web page is loaded the all previous attacks are still existing on the web page. So let us take a look at the low level of security on XSS stored attack and remember that every time you do XSS stored attack on DVWA do not forget to reset your database from the setup menu because on the, on the XSS stored web page all the previous attacks that you have tried will be re-executed every time you reload the page. So every time you go to the XSS stored page before going there go to the setup tab and reset your database so that the previous attacks are deleted and you get a fresh page to try your new attacks. So let us take a look at the low level of security on XSS stored. Now it is a simple form which asks you to enter your name and a message which will be displayed over here. A simple guest book. Let us try our script over here on the low level of attack. We will tr we'll try a script to show the cookie from the browser, to extract the cookie from this browser. Now as you can see the low level of security does not sanitize the input hence the attack is successful and we can see the cookie stored in this browser. Before we proceed we should reset the database every time. Let us try the medium level of security. Notice how this time the attack did not work. We repeated the same attack that we did on low level of security and we tried the same attack on medium level of security. But as you can see the attack did not work. What we input was simply returned to us after sanitization. The script tags have been stripped off. Now we tried to attack the message field. Now we try to attack the name field. We try to write a script in the name field. First try with a simple bold HTML tag. But now you can see that we are stuck. I cannot type any more characters in this field. This HTML field has been restricted to accept only 10 characters. I have already written 10 characters so I cannot write any more characters. So even a simple script the, the script opening tag and the closing tags will extend to more than 10 characters. I cannot write a script in this tag. Here we will make use of our, of our tool that we have already studied before, the firebug tool. Abhishek has shown a demo on that tool before. So we will make use of firebug over here to edit the HTML on this page to, un, to increase the size of this field to uh, write more characters and to be able to write a script in this field. Since we cannot write characters, ten, more than 10 characters in this field, we will open firebug.
go to the HTML code for this form and as you can see the max length of this form has been restricted to 10 characters. We can edit this using Firebug. We can make this as many characters as we want. We made it 100. Now we can write an F a script in this tag in this name form also. So let's try with the basic script that we have already seen. Try a simple script to get the cookie from the browser. Now, even the name field has sanitization on the script tag. So, this this of this attack also did not work, as we had seen previously in the medium level of security that they, we are stripping out script tag from the script tags. So, let's try the second vector that we used, including a script tag within the script tag. Before we proceed, reset the database. Use Firebug to increase the length of this form field. When the internal script tag will be stripped off, the outer SCRI and PT will combine to make a script tag which will be executed by the browser, thus facilitating our attack. So, as you can see in this this time the attack is successful. So, the message field has been fully sanitized to prevent against all types of attacks, but the name field had not been fully sanitized to, to protect against all types of attacks. Only the name field was restricted to 10 characters, so that nobody is able to write scripts in that in that field. We used a known tool Firebug to extend the size of that field so that we may write scripts in that field and then attack this application. So, as we see in the source code, the message has been completely sanitized against all types of attacks. Strip all the slashes, MySQL real escape that Swapnil has already explained. Remove all the HTML special characters, replace them with coded strings. But the name input has only been sanitized against a, uh, by replacing script with a null. So, we were able to attack it. So, these are the no, to summarize we saw two attacks on each type of security on on each level we saw one attack on low level and medium level for both accesses reflected and accesses stored we saw two attacks one that works on the low level and but did not work on the medium level and one that works on both low level and medium level. So, in tomorrow's lab also we will have questions on the similar lines plus a few optional advanced questions which you may try if you want to learn a little more about that. See as we saw that this script tag these tags were these attacks were not very complicated or very tough I mean very malicious attacks, but as sir has already shown that there can be other attacks which are very malicious which can transport your data to other web pages and and steal important information from your browser. I want to write down the sanitization functions that were being used by the application. The first one as Swapnil must have already told you during SQL injection. The second one is to remove HTML special characters and replace them with coded strings. The third one was to replace a string and to replace the script, script tag from the string and replace it with null. So, these are the three functions. 
special characters such as ampersand, angular bracket, and quotation marks, and other tag, and other characters with special coded strings, so that these are interpreted by HTML as not as the HTML characters, but as simple characters that are being displayed as it is. Thank you.